Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete their material supply kits. And for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is yarn on a canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. So this month we put it in a um, plastic bag. Uh, you've got your eight by eight canvas. Um, we have a three ounce tacky glue and then a selection of yarns. Um, so some of the ones I picked out were some jewel tones that have a little bit of a sparkle to them, a little white with a sparkle to it. Um, we've got kind of a teal blue. I had some, oh, and a, and a nice kind of mauvey dark gray. Uh, there are a few that have that color change or multiple colors um, in the strands. And then some leftover yarn I found here at the library. We have these um, kind of lavender purple that are cut into pieces already. And then I had a number of this kind of thicker pink, rosy, mauve, you know, light mauve kind of color um, in the plastic bag for you. Um, so the one thing you will need um, and hopefully have access to is a pair of scissors. Uh, the glues are not open. I've already used this one, so it is all, all ready to go. I've got the plastic on my canvas. I can go ahead and remove that when I am ready to start this project. And we'll set that to the side. Kind of got just my yarns here. Um, they are Um, glue open you'll be able to trim them down or you can really just do this project with just one long piece of yarn and keep going and gluing down as you go um, for my example here I did that for a good piece I kind of just went back and forth with my yarns um, so you'll notice this actually rust rust brown kind of color um, I don't have in my set because I ran out but all the kits will have it um, and then the golden and then so in this one I made a little cactus with the blues and pinks and white and purple kind of up there as like the sky for it um, so this is one option for you and I just love this project because it's like kind of so fun to pet these yarns are wonderful and if you've got other yarn uh, scraps around the house or yarn that you love this is something that you could do with that as well now you can just kind of start and go and pick a color and start gluing so if i were to use my little bit of pink here as my kind of first i'm just going to get my glue the reason i chose the tacky glue it being a little bit thicker um, would stay kind of where i put it i'm just going to do a big swirl right here in the middle take my yarn and I'm actually going to start from the inside and I've got kind of a lot there so I'm even going to fold over the tail end of my yarn here so I've got a little bit of a loop and my glue line here is probably a little bit heavy uh, I could go even a little less than this if you wanted if you had something that you really um, planned out ahead of time and knew that you were going to be doing you could even just kind of spread your glue out and lay yarn pieces next to each other without even having to lay the kind of line of glue the yarn doesn't take need too much glue to keep it stuck down so like for this tail end here if I just take my finger and kind of pull that glue along I'll get it right to the very end of where my yarn is I can even put a little on the tail end of the top of my yarn so that I get that to stay down. And we can see that I've got some extra glue under there, um, some extra glue over here. If I choose, I can kind of wipe that up. But if I decide to come through with another color, um, say maybe this dark blue, um, 
I can just add even less yarn, or I'm sorry, less glue right to the out, outside. there. I'm actually going to bring him, I think he'll slide all the way around the outside as well. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to twist the end of my yarn. Um, where they've been cut, you may see your strands start to separate. Um, the glue will go a long way to helping pull those back together. So I'm just going to come right around here. Following, just kind of pushing with my finger. You may need a paper towel or a wipe um, as you're doing this. You're very likely to get glue on your fingers as you go. And I need a little more glue down here on this end. Come back around. Set my glue aside. And really, this is a kind of a project where your creativity can go in any direction. Um, this, this design here is very much more abstract, where my initial design we saw in the example was a little bit more concrete of, a, of an item. Come back around this way. And I think I am, oh, not quite gonna make it. That's quite all right. I'll glue my strands down there. Pull my pieces around. So maybe I can get a little bit more coverage. Your glue is going to stay um, tacky for quite a while, so that'll be nice. You'll be able to manipulate your yarn. If there is something that you don't kind of like the placement of, um, you can pick it up, put it right back down. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to come in here with some of these smaller. So the purple is a lot smaller um, of a yarn weight, but I felt the color kind of went. So for this piece, I'm going to add coverage of glue a little bit wider. I can even get in there with my finger and really spread it around. And then I'm just going to start myself up here. Well, let's see. I'll start in the middle. Stick with my kind of spiral theme and do a spiral within a spiral. Laying down the purple yarn. Get almost the look of, a, of an eye here. And I can pull a little bit on the tail of my yarn to bring, to tighten that swirl I've got. And then I'm gonna come around one more time, I think. Yep. And then get right in there. If you've got a pencil or some other like a craft stick or even a toothpick or something like that. You can also use that to help you um, hold down the yarn so that the glue has enough time to kind of catch to it. So now I'm just gonna take this little tail end, folding back and forth and fill in this little corner. And I think I'm not gonna need more than about that much. So I'll set this little guy aside over here You may need to hold down. You may need to add a little bit more glue. Hold for a few moments so that the glue, but not too long, otherwise it will stick to your finger. There we go. So that's something where you could do like a really abstract design. If you've got a pencil, I've just got a mechanical pencil here, you can also kind of sketch out something for yourself. 
and follow those lines. Um, I say pencil. That way, if you change your mind, you can erase. Um, but if you wanted to do like a little sun or a dog face or a flower, you know, you can give yourself those petals. And then once you've done that, bring the yarn that you want for your petal. Oh, I think it would be this golden one. And then you can cut pieces, do long around the edges. Let's see, is this, I think this teal, I could get all the way around the edge. Do a framing with the teal. So really, again, this project was designed um, to give you the supplies needed to really let your creativity kind of shine and explore some of the different ways that you could use this canvas um, to make a really cool project. So I'm not going to go all the way through the video to a completed design for this one, kind of winging my my design here and it something I think I would take a, a little bit more time on you know and just kind of work with and I don't even have to start gluing down um, with a design like this maybe I would start with doing just the laying the yarn down it won't stay as easily but it will allow me to get a sense of my design and then I could pick each piece back up you know Kind of, well, do I like this here? Well, no, I think maybe I want to um, bring this back around this way because I like how the pink of this one is catching the pink of the, the piece I put in the middle. So we'll come back around with this, that kind of scenario. So as always, thank you for watching our Canvas project video. And we look forward to and would love to see um, what projects you complete with these supplies or on your own. Thanks for watching.